Speaking of things Putin is notorious for doing, he now seems to be ready to take Russia's offensive nuclear. The Russian president has unveiled a new kind of nuclear weapon, one that is bound to give Russia's enemies sleepless nights, especially its Cold War era rival, the United States of America. Russia claims to have successfully tested its nuclear powered cruise missile, but it's no ordinary one. It has been touted as a nuclear missile that can hit targets as far away as the USA. The name of this new weapon is Borvestik, a nuclear powered intercontinental cruise missile. In the past, the Borvestnik, also known as Skyfall by NATO, has faced several trial failures. It was reportedly involved in an accident leading to multiple fatalities. So what is this new weapon that has the West worried? The Borvestnik was first mentioned by Putin in 2018. It is a ground-launched, low-lying cruise missile that is capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. It can stay aloft for a much longer time than other missiles and it can cover much more distance due to nuclear propulsion. It has Western experts worried because they say that a nuclear engine could be highly unreliable. While Putin has not mentioned when the latest test took place, Western media reports say that the test could have taken place recently. These suggestions have been made based on movements of aircraft and vehicles at a Russian base in the Arctic. And why does this missile matter? Precisely because of its range. Russian reports say that the Borovestnik could have a range of up to 20,000 kilometers. Can you even fathom that? It means it could be based anywhere in Russia and strike targets all the way in the United States. The same reports also say that its altitude is just 50 to 100 meters. That is much lower than a conventionally powered cruise missile. And this makes the Borovestnik missile harder for air defense radar to detect. Borovestnik, it literally translates to storm petrol. And Putin says that it would make any country who plans to use a nuclear weapon against Russia think twice. If any country dares to do so, he says, and I quote, such a number of our missiles would appear in the air that not a single enemy would have a chance of survival. Think about that. If that doesn't sound ominous enough, sample this. A 2020 report by the U.S. Air Force's Intelligence Center said that if Russia successfully brought the Borovestnik into service, it would give Moscow a unique weapon with intercontinental range capability. Unique being the operative word here. A dangerous sign perhaps because nuclear experts have long questioned if this missile can even enter service. Naturally, Putin's announcement has caused a stir in international defense circles. And this is because since the Ukraine war began last year, Putin has continuously shown off Russia's nuclear strength. He has sent warnings to the West saying that using nuclear weapons against Russia would be really, really a bad idea. The recent advancements in Russia's strategic systems would further complicate Moscow-Washington talks regarding limits on nuclear weapons. Remember, earlier this year, Russia withdrew from the New START Treaty, an agreement that aims to restrict nuclear arsenal. It is also scheduled to expire in 2026. So if any of this is any indication, Russia is in no mood to end the nuclear tensions amid the Ukraine war. It might be time, high time, for NATO to ask itself, what will be the cost of prolonging this war, this conflict? What happens if Putin presses the nuclear button? One should shudder at just the thought. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.